Welcome in for the second time, our good <laughs> friend, uh, Coach David Patrick. Coach, uh, we're 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 happy to see you. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say uh, you're happy to be with us and talk back to basketball. <laughs> hey man, that's why I jumped on the show 30 minutes early when you went to the <laughs> We'll take it. Yeah, man. We'll take it. Uh, back to back wins, man, in, in 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 thrilling fashion. Congratulations on owning Denver, by the way. You beat them twice the way that you do. Uh, those are the rules. You get to own Denver. Facts. Uh, but you follow that up with another big win against Long Beach State, man. How do how do you know, obviously? coach all wins are good how do wins like that though help build your team you look because we lost you know we lost three games previous um, you know in like two three possession games you know and so you're trying to teach as a coach man just stick with the process and you'll win but sometimes you need a win for them to believe you so to kick down the door like we did against denver and we were in the same position against southern utah we had free throws that we missed against denver mm. we get it to overtime and then we win in overtime you know so you're in that position that helped us against Long Beach was another team we were up against um, for most of the game and probably had a stranglehold of the game for the most part. And they came, you know, tearing back down us and we were able to win at the end of the game again. So to win two games back to back against two really good teams, I think shows that our guys are buying in and doing what I asked and what we asked. You know, coach, a lot of time when I talk about the Kings or, you know, I'm talking about, you know, with, with the kids that I coach, whether it's the little kids or high schoolers, you know, particularly with the high schoolers because they actually have a schedule. but I try not to say like must win game here and there. I try to talk about opportunities, right? And I thought last week it wasn't must win. If you lost one or two of the games, season wasn't over, nothing like that. But you had an opportunity to kind of get on your feet, get to 500, and you guys take a, took advantage of that opportunity by winning both of them. Is that kind of how you approached it as well? It's just like saying, hey, the world isn't over if we lose these two, but we got something in front of us. Let's try and take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah, definitely. We try to play the season in many games, you know, like many, like cut the season up in four. So we kind of have our second round of the season now. So for us, you know, it's big picture, you know, trying to get ready for ready for conference. And so to win two in a row at home is great to win two in a row in the fashion that we did um, being close games, not blowouts. Cause I think you can learn mm -hmm. just as much from, we learn from losses, but now it's good to learn from wins. You know, you don't mm -hmm. want to keep, losing and getting and coaching. So uh, to be able to win some close games and still be able to coach these guys pretty hard over the last couple of days, I think will bode us well uh, going into conference after Christmas. And, and I'm glad you brought that up. You, 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 you started to build that momentum and then finals week hits and, 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 and you got to stop, you got a few days off, but you also head into that break, you know, on a good vibe. Was it, was it tough for the break to hit when it did knowing how well you guys were playing or did the fact that you got those two wins kind of put everybody in a good frame of mind? Like, hey, get your studies done, get your grades right, and 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 let's pick up where we left off. Yeah, look, I think the grade part is first and foremost, but it's definitely uh, for me and my staff. At least for my staff, I probably wasn't as stressed as stressed as I would have been going, you know, oh, you know, oh, and, oh, losing six in a row going into the break. So, you know, I think our guys got to focus on academics. We also got some basketball in. And now we switched our focus actually today uh, to a Fresno State team, which is just as good, if not better, than the last two last two opponents we played. For sure. Hey, man, basketball is a team game. You guys played a great team game to win those two games. But we got to talk about my guy, mm -hmm. our guy, Zach Chappelle, Big Sky Player of the Week. Mm -hmm. And, man, the clutch gene was, was on full display with the way he played against Denver. I texted you after that game. And then I was there on Saturday, and he did it again. Um, man, the, the way he showed up, uh, you know, like a senior supposed to in those two moments, uh, to talk about that a little bit, coach. Yeah, just just excited for him. I think today he got, you know, mid major player of the week again, which is huge. Mm -hmm. so he's the best mid major player in the country, at least for this week. Um, so it's great, man. You know, we don't run, I think it looks like he scores a lot of points that we run a lot of stuff for him. We don't, he gets his stuff in the, in the flow of the game. Um, uh, but to make big shots and big moments uh back to back times uh was huge and and for me and I told him after the game he had those same shots against Southern Utah but he settled for threes I think you were witness to the mm -hmm. to the last game that he took the coaching and and, and got to the rim and, and did it twice from the same spot um in, in in key moments and that's not easy to do um in those situations so it's so good for him uh and for us for him to do it in front of his friends and, and family um here at Sacramento and now they're calling him Sacramento uh yeah. And uh, and do it in the fashion he did, because, you know, for a guy that's been here 
uh, you know, he's been here four years. I'm his fourth coach. Um, mm. You know, I think it's good to, for him to try to go out on top, which I think is great. At least they're hey. not calling him Zach Town. No, yeah, there ain't no Zach Town going on here. Ain't no Zach Town going on here. <laughs> hey, the, the thing he he had uh, clutch free throws in both of those games. Oh my gosh, those are like four or five of the purest free throws I've ever seen. Like mm. they didn't touch anything no with doubt. the bottom of the net. That was impressive. It was because even he missed those same free throws at Southern Utah. You know, and he didn't mm. mean to miss them at Southern Utah. He didn't mean to miss the shot, but but I think he's such a competitor, and he's he's in the gym every day at six a.m. Um, shooting. If we start practice at eight, he's in there, you know, long before that. And so he's, you know, his hard work. And you, you like to see that as a coach, that the hard work pays off um, and, it, and, it, and it has for him and for us so far. Yeah. Garrett Temple once told me, you hear people talk about like the clutch gene. Mm -hmm. And I asked Garrett about that one day. He was like, no, that's a thing. Like, it's real. Like some people just react differently in pressure. Coach, mm -hmm. like what's your, like, are you able to pinpoint guys? Like obviously Zach Chappelle, he got that gene. <laughs> he got that gene. Uh, are you able to identify when you're coaching a player like, oh, this is this is my guy in the clutch right here? Oh, you can because you can tell who's scared. So, mm -hmm. so the, you know, and, and, and I say that in the in the you know, some guys run away from the ball, some guys sure, run away from, from pressure, and that's just that's just not on the basketball floor. That's life, you know. And so, um, I think Zach and we have a couple other guys that you know, if they shoot it and they miss it, they're okay with it. You know, mm -hmm. you, you got to be okay with missing the shot and consequences that come with that when you do that. Um, but you can feel it out pretty, pretty quickly. And I think the guys on the team though, you know, when you, when you're in a team environment, you know, who wants that heat and who doesn't. And uh, I'm so glad uh, that he's able to do that for us at this point in time. Hey coach, just want to ask you like a, a coaching philosophy question. Now, I know you saw your boy Mike Brown last night, just go off, go off. I believe that yeah, he was genuinely mad, but it was a buildup. And I think he made a decision, you know, in that moment. It's like, you know what? I'm getting tossed right now. Like, this is unacceptable. Have you ever found yourself in those situations where you're like, you know what? I need to do this for my players, for my team. I need to get – give me the two technicals right now. I didn't get to two, but I got to one. <laughs> I got to, I, but I have, you know, I, I have because I think there's certain times where you feel like the, the calls or the toughness part's not going your way. Um, and, and I see that. I mean, I, I, I think it, obviously it worked for Mike. It didn't work for me. We lost by one the game. I did it. So oh, man. I took the, I took the loss, but uh, lost by that one technical free throw. <laughs> technical, yeah, so, so, so it didn't work uh, for me. I, I wish I was a better story, but, but I, but I had to do it, you know, and I, and I know exactly where I did it at. It was against coach Herrick and coach Godfrey when he was at CSUN and I was at Riverside. And those that don't know Jim Herrick, he was the head coach at UCLA when they won a national mm -hmm. championship, but, the referees were kind of bound down for him and uh, mm. I wasn't going for that. So yeah. um, I had to, I had to kind of flip the script, but I'm glad it worked out for Mike and, and Jordy and, and, and for that team on the road. Cause that's hard to, when they lost two in a row to get that third up in Toronto against a really good team and a good coach is awesome. Co Co I was just going to say um, with that, do you find that that works like as a coach and even taking back to your time as a player do you you know a lot of the guys last night were like yo we we wanted to win this one for mike he, he went out for us and you know we wanted to show him we appreciated that and we had his back do you find that you know tends to work more times than not and i think it does because the players know you got their back you know as long as for the right you can't be every call you do it but if it's for the right reason and that time and play just watching that game you know that the, the flow was going the other way i don't want to talk about the officials but i think it works when you know when your players know you got your back that you got their back i should say um i think they put put that little bit more effort in for you yeah. coach preparing for that nba career he ain't gonna he ain't, he ain't gonna get fined here on this he show. said i love the nba <laughs> refs <laughs> uh i know you got you got fresno state coming up you got cal state coming up you got a, a couple of games before the holiday but you guys got plans for you know for christmas get away a little bit celebrate yeah, I, I, I'm the only one not getting away. I think the rest of my staff and my and my team and my team are, but you know, I'll be around. You know, so y'all get any Christmas parties? I'll let you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we, <laughs> we got you, coach. I'll we'll be in town. But yeah, no, we play on the 21st. We got. I tell you, the schedule I inherited. We play Fresno State, who's really good, and then yeah. we play at Cal State Fullerton, who went to the NCAA tournament last year. So uh, those two coaches are good friends and good brothers. Um, and then hopefully I can enjoy some Christmas before we get ready for, for conference play. 
Yeah, there you go. I was coach. I, and coach. I'm still scouting. I was watching Eastern Washington against Texas Tech the other night. He's watching it. They was playing with him. They was playing with him. So I'm, I got you, coach. Don't worry about all that, man. Enjoy Christmas morning, man. I'm scouting for you. I got you, man. They nice, man. They nice. Portland State's nice. Yeah, I can't even think that far. Yeah, <laughs> I see you repping your 49ers up there. They got oh, a big game this, on Sunday. You know what it is today, coach. You know what it is, yeah, baby. Let's yeah, let's yeah. put this away, baby. Let's put it away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coach, we appreciate you as always. Uh, thanks for jumping on twice with us today. Uh, thanks for taking time with us uh, this week, and uh, we look forward to talking to you uh, uh, next week. Appreciate you guys, man. Have a blessed week.